my oh. <laughs> Good morning mga kawinso. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Okay. Kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for you to get notified. So ayan guys. Ayan. Thank you sa pamangkin kong gumawa ng crystal ko ngayon. So, I hope makukulot talaga to. Pag dito nakulot, ewan ko na na. Okay? So, today's video, mga kagunso, we're going to make something different na pizza. Okay? So, come and join me and let's start with this video. Here are the ingredients, mga kagunso, in making our pizza. So the first step that we need to do is we need to measure two third cups of warm water, okay. two teaspoon of white sugar, one tablespoon of olive oil, and then of course our yeast, two and one fourth teaspoon of yeast. Okay, next we're going to add our white sugar to our warm water. And then, of course, the oil. And then, our yeast. Okay. So, let's just mix everything together and let's wait for it until it's foamy. So, ayan. So, the next step that we're going to do, guys, mga kabunso, is we're going to mix our all-purpose flour and oatmeal okay so you need to measure one and one third cups of all-purpose flour okay next add oatmeal uh, I'm using the quick cooking one okay so we need to measure three-fourth cup of it okay then I'm going to use my hands don't worry this is clean so let's just mix everything together okay, there you go and then after that we're going to mix our yeast mixture okay there you go mga kabun. so it's already foamy so create a little well at the center of your flour and oat mixture and then pour on your yeast mixture okay so after mixing that don't forget to next year okay, i don't have anything okay so i'll just use this spatula okay, i'll just mix it and if you think that your um dry ingredients is a little bit moist then the time that's the time for you to knead it okay so we will transfer it later on to our flat surface and then we're going to knead it okay, as you can see guys it's already my son okay now we're going to knead it okay so i will start kneading it now guys so just knead it for about two minutes or just until all these dry ingredients stick to our dough together okay so here it goes guys so it's almost done so just continue kneading it and then make sure that your dough is soft and a little bit shiny. Okay? okay if you're done, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, grease our bowl with oil. Okay? And then we'll just flip our dough once and then we'll let it... Okay, so here we go guys. I'm going to use olive oil. Okay, so let's just put a little amount of olive oil to our bowl. And then after that, of course... We'll just spread our oil everywhere to any part of this bowl. Okay, flip once your dough and then after that, cover it and let it rise for 20 minutes. So while we are waiting for our dough to rise, first let's prepare our toppings. Okay, we will be needing two pieces of yellow onion. Okay. We'll just remove this head and this bottom part. Okay. okay, and then we will slice it into thin round shapes. Okay, just like that. It's the 
which is continuing slicing it until all these two pieces of onion is sliced. Okay, since we're done with our onion or slicing our onion, next is we will be needing four pieces of fresh red tomatoes. Okay, so make sure you wash your vegetables before slicing it. Okay, so I will just um, remove the seeds of this. Okay, because I don't want to eat the seed. Okay, they said it's not healthy. So I'll just remove it instead. We also have here our other ingredients, so I am going to use button mushroom and then this is a wild mushroom. Okay, so if you don't have wild mushroom, you can just use a different variety of mushroom like shiitake and the other varieties or families of mushrooms. So we will just cut this into two. Okay, and last one, I have here my salted eggs. So, I'm using four pieces of salted eggs. So, we will just slice it into four. But it's up to you guys. Okay, ito na siya mga kabunso. So, nag-rise na siya. Pag tinitignan nyo, parang hindi siya nag-double in size, pero nag-double po siya. Okay, so next na gagawin natin is we will just punch it the center. Okay, to release the air okay and then after that we're going to divide our dough into four equal parts but it's up to you if four equal parts two equal parts okay let's just divide this as I, as I have said a while ago guys it's up to you if you're going to divide it into four or three or just two okay me, I'll just I'll divide it into four because I am using a small pan of pizza. So we'll just knead it and transfer it here. Okay. But for me, I don't need to call that. Knead it again. I'll just directly put it here into my baking pan. If you're done transferring your dough and fitting it to your pizza pan, next is you're going to stop the ingredients that we're going to put okay so here you go guys so i will put some tomato sauce okay so for tomato sauce i added again rosemary okay so i will just put two tablespoons of tomato sauce spread it evenly to our pizza dough there you go 
working. Then after that, we're going to tap the ingredients that you have chosen. Okay, so I will going to put pineapple. So it's up to you guys if how many pieces of pineapple are you going to put. Okay, then after that, going to add my this one tomatoes and onion so it's up to you guys if how many slices of tomatoes again are you going to put okay and then of course our onion make sure that you have separated them So sing while you're doing this mga kabunso. okay so it's up to you guys if how are you going to um portion the amounts of and adding uh, your onions your pineapples and your tomatoes next is our mushroom okay again it's up to you if how many mushroom or slices of mushroom are you going to put yeah so it's already good next is our Drop some. Because this, I forgot already. I'm sorry. Okay, mint, rosemary. Okay, it's up to you. How many pinch of it? And then I'm using a two kind of cheese. Okay, sorry, this is not sponsored. I bought it. I bought this one at the grocery store. So I'm using a quick melt cheese and then an ordinary cheese. Since I cannot find any available parmesan. Here you go. We're going to grate it now. I top it with grated cheese. Okay, this is spread it evenly. Okay, next is we're going to grate also our quick melt cheese. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry guys, I have evaporated music again. Okay, so guys, it's up to you if how many because this portion of grated cheese are you going to put. So next that we're going to do after grating it and topping it with cheese is we're going to bake it. Bake it, bake it. So here we go guys, we're done with our pizza, okay, our oatmeal crust pizza. So I have made two different flavors, the one with plain vegetables and of course topped with cheese and then this one is with red egg, okay, plainly red egg and then onion. Okay, so this is how it looks like, our slice pizza. So that's it guys. There you go guys. Tapos na nga tayo sa ating vlog for today. So tapos na yung ating oatmeal crust pizza topped with red egg and of course our favorite vegetables. Okay, so I will see you again on my next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel mga kabunso. Thank you and God bless.